passar aqui um dia real quick. Please be this door. Man, welcome back to the podcast. And I'm pretty sure we all have heard about the Astro World disaster that has happened pretty recently. So we finna watch the video and I'm gonna give my commentary and react to the videos and give my opinions as well. So let's hop right into it. You feel me? November 5th, 2021 will go down as one of the most tragic events in entertainment history. On this day, Astro World. A music concert hosted by Travis Scott, one of the most famous artists on the planet, ended with 8 people dead and over 300 people injured. People across the world have been going crazy over this news, and some people are even saying that this entire event was actually a demonic sacrifice straight from hell itself. Alright, so, 8 people dead, 300 injured is crazy for a concert. Um, I don't know if... Is it a spoiler? Actually, it's not a spoiler, right? But I'm gonna speak on what he said about the about, about the demonic shit. I heard um I was watching uh, I was on Instagram and I was on Instagram Reels and um somebody was talking about how before he even um before he even got on stage to perform any songs he plays some loud high pitched music and uh apparently like fucks with your mind. That's what that's what people are like cons cons. Conspiracy, that's not a word. That's not what a conspiracy theory is that, like, those sounds fuck up your mind, like on some Illuminati shit. But I, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, ain't no proof about that. But I just want to say I heard that people thought it was sort of like strange. You feel me? Families have been devastated. Hundreds of thousands of people have been traumatized. And Travis Scott's illustrious career and the state of his life is currently under judgment. This timeline is one of the most horrific stories I've ever had to research. Before we get into this video, I have respect for the families impacted by the situation, I am not going to play my intro. I will also not be making any jokes in this video, as this is not a laughing matter at all. My heart goes out to everyone impacted. And if this video is not demonetized, all money made from this video will be donated to the families involved, every single dime. If you want to see my usual content about what goes on in the sports world, check these videos out on my channel. But this situation is serious. This video is going to be the entire storyline in chronological order of what occurred at the Oscar World Festival. Um, I'm just gonna pause it real quick. You see the video? Damn. For you guys on YouTube, you see the video all the way to the left. Uh, and for you guys on uh Spotify and shit, I know they're coming out with video podcasts, which will help me greatly because also I always use a video for another point of view and for like you feel me, uh, facts and shit, so you guys can have have more than one aid you feel me you can have a visual aid and me talking about it and educating you guys as well or giving my opinion so uh for you guys on uh spotify and uh google podcast i know you can't see the video but they're soon coming out with video podcasts so uh soon you'll be able to see it but for you guys on youtube the guy all the way to the left that's the tiktok i seen and he was talking about the the like very weird like uh illuminati demonic shit that was going on at the at the uh concert so uh let's see what else we gotta talk about held by travis scott but it will be from the collective point of views that have been pushed out online during this video you will be seeing the experience of the entire tragedy as it unfolded in real time and all imagery that you see in this video is completely real and is extremely intense this whole situation is just so sad and viewer discretion is strongly advised sadly this is the story of the astroworld tragedy stop the show I'm going to start by introducing everyone involved so you can truly understand what was going on. First, being Travis Scott. Travis Scott is one of the most famous musical artists on the planet. In fact, according to a study by Complex, where they asked people ages 18 to 34 who they thought was the most influential person in America, the number one answer was actually Travis Scott. Keep it I want to know the sample size of that question because... Uh... <laughs> That's crazy. The most influential person is Travis Scott? I don't know, bro. I, I want to know the simple size of that, but let's get back into the main topic. Come on. They could have said the President of the United States, 
Drake, LeBron James, etc. But they said Travis Scott. This just shows how famous and influential this man is. And with all this fame and influence, Travis Scott is known to have the most energetic and rowdy concerts out of any artist out there. In fact, he actually encourages it. This ain't no motherfucking dance show. You either get on this stage of rage or take your motherfucking ass home, you understand? The biggest festival that Travis Scott throws on is called Astroworld. Astroworld is a festival that only happens once a year and it takes place in Houston, Texas. Travis Scott owns this festival and he's the headlining artist for it. And as well as performing in it himself, he also gets a lineup of the most popping rappers in the industry to perform as well. In addition to this, there's a Ferris wheel and carnival games happening side by side the actual concert. And this is seen as one of the biggest events every year since it started. Before this tragedy occurred, it was pretty much seen as heaven on earth for the youth. All your favorite rappers performing together while you can go on carnival rides with all your friends? Sounds like an amazing time, right? Well, at around 2 p.m., that's exactly what everyone thought. Fans were so hyped to get into this venue that people who weren't able to get tickets rushed the gates to get in, breaking down fences and crashing through security while doing so. Hundreds if not thousands of people broke into the venue. However, because nothing had happened yet, everyone just saw these kids breaking in as kids just trying to have a good time. Things got off to a hectic start at Astroworld Festival this morning when fans stampeded through the entrance, ripping down barricades and trampling over each other. Thousands of fans are there to enjoy the games, carnival rides, and of course, the music, especially the headliner and creator of the event, Travis Scott. And to have Astroworld back this year after it was postponed because of COVID in 2020 is a dream come true for these fans. Be in this environment again, it's just, it's been hard just like being stuck in the house. All about from the music to the festivities, fans say they're getting everything they expected and then some. And Astroworld continues tomorrow. These fans seemingly can't get enough. No. All right, um, I got one comment. Where the hell is this secure? Okay, this is Travis Scott. We're not talking about any small artists. We talk about somebody that's very wealthy. And this uh, concert slash festival has been going on for a long time. Where the fuck is this security? Why are people breaking down the fence and sneaking into the event with no security to stop them? Or You feel what I'm saying? Like, even at Rolling Loud or anything, they have security to stop shit like this. I know this shit was happening in um, Lollapalooza in Chicago where they were breaking down the fences. And security is even there to stop as many people as they can. Like... How is there no security to stop at least one? Like, they didn't try to stop one person. You feel me? Like, I don't know, bro. From 2 to 8 p.m., everyone who was able to get into the venue is having the time of their lives. Whether they had a ticket or not, teens and adults alike are riding the Ferris wheels, eating cotton candy, and bonding with their friends. Smiles are rampant across everyone, and everyone is having a good time. Everyone's just waiting for 8.45 which is when Travis Scott is scheduled to perform. And once 8.10 hits, everyone starts gathering around the stage. However, something's wrong here. Remember how I said in the beginning of the video that people who didn't have tickets rushed the gates? Well, you see, concerts only have a set amount of tickets that they can sell for a reason. A venue's maximum capacity is the maximum number of people a venue can hold while still ensuring the safety of the people who are in there. When a venue is built, its max capacity is carefully calculated. And if in any instance a venue were to exceed this capacity, the area is no longer deemed a safe environment. And somebody getting hurt is statistically almost bound to happen because there's simply no space. Think of it like filling a water bottle. If you're filling an empty water bottle, while it's empty, everything's going to stay in the bottle. However, the second you reach the cap, everything starts overflowing. And it physically would not be possible for you to carry more water in that bottle. Well. By rushing the gates, the same situation essentially occurred. Because people who didn't buy tickets initially were in the venue, the venue physically could not hold this many people. Now mix this with the fact that everyone was pushing each other trying to get to the front of the stage and get the best view of Travis Scott, and then mix that again with the fact that Travis encourages his fans to get rowdy, and you have a catastrophe just waiting to happen. So, 8.45 hits. Alright. So, so far... Let's just give it like a little recap so far. Um, Travis Scott throws a festival. Basically has no fucking security. No safety precautions at all. It lets people sneak in. And now we have a overcrowding of people in one area. On top of that, we got people. That a whole bunch of people that are drunk. 
off drugs, you feel me? Because if any of you guys know what happened at festivals, they take all kinds of pills and shit. And not in their right, I want to say, yeah, some of, not in their right mind, you feel me? And they all are anxious to pushing and being rowdy to get up front. And this mosh pit environment is encouraged by artists. That shit don't even sound good to begin with, my nigga. I'm going to be real with y'all. And fans are all gathered around the stage. The sky is now dark, and everyone is smushed together. However, although everyone is uncomfortably smushed together, everyone is still hyped for Travis to perform. So everyone is trying to stay in good spirits. Right on time, Travis starts his show and does his thing. Every fan is extremely hyped. However, during this entire time of getting hype, people are starting to feel the ramifications of this overcapacity. Everyone is heating up because there's so many people around them, and they're so close together that they can't move at all. Some people are so tightly packed that they can't even breathe. They're trying to make their struggles be known, but no one is listening to them. People are too busy trying to turn up. Things are starting to look like they could get really bad. However, everyone is trying to ignore it and still have a good time. Nothing severe has happened yet at this point. Now. Fast forward to around 9.20 p.m. Travis Scott brings out Drake, another rapper who's one of the most famous artists on the planet right now. And the crowd goes crazy. Drake proceeds to do his thing and people are trying their best to enjoy the concert. However, the added hypeness of Drake being there only makes the lack of space in the crowd situation get worse. Now, you know what the sad thing about this situation is, uh, like, you're, like, it's no getting out of this, like, you're fucked, you, you feel what I'm saying? Like, usually in the case, in, uh, cases, like, in situations like this, it's a way to get out. Like, with so many people overcrowding, like, you're fucked, unless, like, unless you're, like, way in the back, you're fucked, because you can't go, you can't move to your side, or you can't move, you feel me? Like, you're stuck in that spot. So, like, you're basically hopeless. That's the sad part about this. All the people who lost their lives, who got injured, were basically hopeless. You know what I'm saying? They can't move. They can't go left, right, back, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, that's the sad part of it. That's the worst part about this is you're just helpless. Like, you you in there, claustrophobic, probably getting a heat stroke. You feel me? Mad heads around you. You There's no way for you to go. It's too many people. You're not going to be able to escape. People getting rowdy, pushing each other, jumping up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're basically hopeless. Like, I don't know how I feel in this situation, man. It's like a fl fight or flight situation to me, bro. Like, it's just crazy to me that a uh, event this large can have such poor organization and such, like, sort such poor safety precautions. Like, where the fuck is this security the whole time? You feel me? Fast forward some more at 10 p.m. Things start to get absolutely horrible. People in the crowd can't put up with the lack of space anymore, and people simultaneously just start dropping to the floor. Within seconds, there's countless people who are completely unconscious just stuck on the floor in the middle of the crowd. However, people are still so caught up in the performance that everyone just keeps dancing around them. And, extremely sadly, some of them pass away on the spot. It's absolutely horrific. However, nothing stops. Some people realize what's going on and start screaming at Travis and his staff to stop the show. However, Travis either just doesn't hear them or he's so focused on his performance that he doesn't truly understand what's going on. People are fucking dying. I'm gonna save somebody's life. I'm trying to get them. That's somebody's kid. Who answered the stop? I'm gonna save them. Who answered the stop? Get out of there! That's okay. Let me see you real quick. Let's be this door. That shit just gave me the chills, man. That shit just gave me the chills. Because it ain't no way, like, there's no way he didn't hear that. You feel me? Like, I understand this day and age, a lot of people be capping and exaggerating. But with a claim that serious, you got to pay attention, bro. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, these people are helpless. There's no way for them to go. You feel me? They just passed off from, from claustropho claustrophobia and heat stroke. You feel me? 
It's nowhere to go. Then I get no help, and people are still around them. They probably getting stumped on while on the ground, while passed out, and not getting no air to breathe. You know, on top of that, it's no excuse for 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 Travis Scott to say that he did not know what was going on because it's people literally walking on the stage telling him people are dying and passing out. You know what I'm saying? Like you know how. The bad it had to be for people to go on stage knowing he got big ass security guards on there that's probably gonna choke slam you off the off the stage if you go up there and to risk that getting injured their own self to save another life and the motherfucker not listening and just ignore you like it didn't happen. Like that's what made this shit seem kind of fishy to me. Because it'd be different if people were just you feel me screaming he can hear it, but you got people coming up on the stage telling the Telling the staff, hey, yo, people passing out and dying, not breathing, no pulse, and the staff is not doing shit about it. That's what makes this shit very fishy to me, bro. It just gives me, like, bad vibes, you feel me? So, I don't know, man. That's how I feel about it, but let's, let's see what else we got to talk about in here. One moment, he notices that a man has passed out and stops the show for a second. And while this man is being taken out on the stretcher, Travis stares straight at him and continues singing. He then just continues his performance, leaving people outraged. Bro, I hold on y'all. I'm finna I'm about to get heated, but I'm feeling the play. Things get. Yo, what the fuck, bro? You. Yo, hold on, bro. That sh this shit is making me, like, I don't know, like, antsy, bro. Like. Like, what's the motive here, you know what I'm saying? I usually don't side with people with conspiracy therapy, th conspiracy theories and ulterior motives, like, but something is off here to me, bro. I don't understand, like, somebody is passed out, not moving, no pulse, nothing. And he just look at the body and don't stop the show and keep performing and looking at the body as they move it out? On top of that, they're crowd surfing the bodies, which is fucked up. But he's performing while looking at the body, not stopping the show, like, like something like it looks like he's proud of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit, just shit, just don't make me feel good, bro. Like it's low key pissing me off how either oblivious he is or how fucking evil this motherfucker is, bro. And I'm talking about Travis Scott as a person, his music. It's different. I like Travis Scott's music. But as a person, you know what I'm saying? Like, this shit is just irking me. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, it just give me... Like, to look at a body of somebody that's not moving, that's passed out, and it's still perform and stare at the body the whole time while it's been crowd surfed. You know what I'm saying? Like, it shows you don't give a damn about your fans, bro. You feel me? Like, it's... Cr like... I don't know, bro. It's crazy. Like, these are the people that that push you in this position to make this money and to live, to have financial freedom, which everybody in the world wants. You don't have to work a 9 to 5. Like, these are the people that basically build your career, that makes your career, that makes you money, you feel me? Since they support you so much and they listen to your music, this is what makes you money. And your fans is passing out and dying and you don't give a fuck and you just keep performing and you stare at them like you don't give a fuck. Man, bro, that's, that just tell you, listen, y'all, that just tell you how much about, how much you don't know about a motherfucker on the internet versus in real life, you feel me? And they just go for, for everything, famous or not, don't, don't judge, don't, how do I say this, don't judge a person from his internet personality, because for a lot of people, the internet personality and in real life personality is com completely different. You feel me? Travis Scott has never displayed any sort of behavior like this on the internet. And I'm, in, in real life, he's like, it seems like he's looking down to these people like peasants. Like his fans as peasants, you feel me? Like, 
He look. I don't know, bro. Like it just. He just got no respect for his fans, it look like, bro. And this shit is crazy to me that people are dying and he's not giving a fuck, bro. Like, like how how much of a, how big of a piece of shit of a human being you have to be to do some shit like this to me? You feel me? Even worse. At one point, the ambulance comes to try to save people's lives. But instead of making a way for the ambulance, fans literally start dancing on top of their vehicles. Now, fast- Bro. L humans, bro. L humans, bro. L humans. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if you was on every sort of drug in the world at that time. You're a L fucking per human being, bro. And you. Right, let's just keep going before I get heated, bro. Because, yeah. Fast forward to midnight. The concert's over, and everyone who was there is traumatized. This whole situation is catastrophic, and nobody knows the death count. The rest of the world doesn't even know any of this happened. Come on, pop. Man, listen. I just want to put this perspective and you perspective to you guys. Like imagine it's you or your family member or somebody you care about a lot and they're in a situation to where they're hopeless and there's no way to get out, bro. And like and nobody's doing anything to help them. And while they are suffering, while while they are su suffering, the person that they look up to that they support so much is not giving a fuck. You feel me? Like. Y'all gotta stop idolizing these fucking celebrities. Because a lot of these motherfuckers don't give a fuck about y'all. You feel me? A lot of these celebrities don't give a fuck about these supporters, man. Like, this is one example. And there's a lot of examples out there. But this is a, one of the prime examples. A lot of celebrities can make it seem like they care about their fans. All of that shit on the internet. But you can see this his energy in person. He do not give a fuck about these people, bro. That's the fucking sick part about it, man. But people who were in the crowd start sharing their experiences on TikTok. I'll showcase some of them right now. It just felt like we was like literally like in fucking hell, bro. Like it felt like we was in a concert in hell. You couldn't breathe. You couldn't see. Like just imagine all the people they gonna find tonight who was in that crowd who nobody could see, who nobody could hear, who passed out, and everybody was just trumpling on top of them the whole fucking concert. Like I'm thinking it's probably gonna be like at least a hundred people who dead tonight. Like in the VIP section, it was so many bodies laid out. People was getting pulled out who was fainted. People were trying to medics were trying to give them CPR. And they was flipping them over and like they was literally turning them black and blue. I never seen death in my fucking life, bro. Just by me alone, it was probably like 10 fucking people laid out dead. And like once the medics tried to help them, they wasn't responding. They moved to the next person. It was nothing they could have do. Like this shit, like this shit really fucked me up and like really spooked me tonight. Like that was like some demonic shit. People were screaming help, trying to tell Travis, Travis Scott. They was like, help, the whole crowd was going like, help, help, help. And he just kept going, bro. It was like, that shit was scary, bro. It was so demonic, bro. He sacrificed so many people's lives tonight, like, for real. He influenced people to be raging and all this shit. So many people broke in, and it was just chaos, bro. It was a living fucking hell, bro. I've never experienced any- Bro, that's crazy, man. Like, I normally don't wish any any bad will on anybody, but tr I hope they sue the fuck out of Travis Scott. All the people that died, all the people that got injured, but this the people for the fucking trauma that he just, you feel me? The trauma that he caused, I hope they sue the fuck out of him, bro. You feel me? Like. Like, I, the vibes, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. The, when, in the, earlier in this video, when he first came out with that fucking screech, with the, with the wings on fire, it gave me like a, like a unsettling vibe, bro. And I can see how bro would think, how bro was saying it was demonic, cause, because it seems intentional because people are running on the stage telling you telling him that people are dying and he's still continuing and staring at the bodies while they're moving out and still performing and not stopping the show so i can see how bro would think it was intentional for him to do this shit you know what i'm saying either that or he don't give a fuck about his fans and whichever one it is it's still fucked up at the end of the day you know what i'm saying like it's just crazy to me bro Anything like that in my entire life. 
Probably because I've never been surrounded by so many lifeless bodies. It was so demonic. The energy was so demonic. The set was demonic. Travis was demonic. We were literally in hell. Like, it felt like we were in hell. Nobody could breathe. We were all suffocating. Everybody around you was suffocating. We were standing on our tiptoes. And all you see is <gasps> everyone around you, chins up, <gasps> gasping for air. And that's all you see around you. Like, this hurts to take a deep breath today. Like, we couldn't even breathe. People were bleeding out of their mouths and their nose. People were screaming bloody murder, literally, begging for help from anybody. There was nothing that anybody could do. The floors were covered in bodies. You couldn't even put your foot on the ground. You're stepping over other people. You're stepping over other people's shoes, just trying to fucking breathe. If I would have hit the floor, I would have never gotten up. You can see like adults holding their children up, trying to get them to safety. They're, they're dragging dead bodies out of the crowd. Dead bodies. And Travis knew. Travis had a bird's eye view on everybody and could see everything. He was asked multiple times to stop and his responses are, you know what you were here for, something like that, and let's rage. I'm gonna take a couple days off from posting. What? So, hold on bro, my bad. I'm sorry if that was a little too loud, but... People, hold on, bro. Nah, because this just seemed like some movie shit. People told Travis Scott people are passing out and dying. And his response to them was, you know what you were here for? You're here to rage? What? Y'all. Nah, bro. The motive is crazy here, man. The motive is fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? The motive is too crazy. Like... You know what you are here for is your response. You're not going to stop the show. You can see all these people passing out from his point of view. Like she said, he's up he's up high as fuck on the platforms. Staring at bodies as they're moving out and singing. Literally like he's singing to these dead bodies. You feel me? And when you tell him that people are dying, it's you know what you are here for? Let's rage? Nah, bro. Something not right about this, man. That, that motherfucker need help. We need to put that nigga in a psych ward. No cap. You feel me? I don't know, but shit crazy. Because I literally watched somebody die right in front of me. So basically, yeah, I get over the fence. This girl gets helped over, but she is out. Like, out cold, bro. Like, completely out. I don't know if it was her boyfriend or whoever she was with, but whoever she was with started crying, like, hysterically. And she's like, she's not waking up. She's not waking up. There's no pulse. They started uh, giving her CPR and, I mean, nothing, bro. Literally, pretty much the whole Travis performance, they are giving her CPR. And they're like, where's the paramedics? Where's the paramedics? Every single one of these stories goes absolutely viral getting over 50 million views combined in less than a day. The news goes worldwide, and people are saying that Astroworld was actually just a symbol of hell. This whole situation is catastrophic, and by November 6th, which was the next day, the official death toll is released, as well as over 300 people being announced as injured. 300. There's even a rumor going around that someone was drugging people in the crowd, one of which being a security officer who was trying to save somebody's life. We have learned the ages of those who died. One person was 14, one was 16, two were 21, two were 23, one was 27, and the age of the eighth person is not yet known. People have been showing up. Hold on, y'all. Let me go back to that. <sighs> Bro, two, two. I want to say RP that all the people that lost their lives at this event, but two under underage kids have died bro 14 and 16. all of these people are somebody's think about it all these people that died are somebody's sons daughters whatever kids you know what I'm saying this is somebody's kids bro it just it just made me it just upsets me so much that this is somebody's kid you know what I'm saying somebody's loved one and Travis Scott did not give a fuck about them. You know what I'm saying? This is real sickening, bro. Especially, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, bro. Like, I'm like low-key lost for words because it's like I said, it's some movie shit, bro. One was 27, and the age of the eighth person is not yet known. People have been showing up here for hours in tears, leaving flowers, writing messages. And I want to, um, I want to pause this right here. I want to give a PSA message. As far as regards to the dragon incidents that he was talking about. First of all, whoever did that is a f I don't know, bro. 
It wouldn't, it wouldn't put it past me that he hired people to drug people. You feel me? And I heard it was fit, laced with fentanyl, which is one of the most dangerous, powerful drugs you can put in your system. It doesn't take that much fentanyl for you, for, for you, for you to kill somebody, which is crazy to me. But I want to give this PSA out to you guys. If you ever go into any concert, any EDM rave, anything like that, please, matter of fact, if you go anywhere you're at, stay on 10 toes. We are in 2021. About to be in 2022, but 2021. The world is crazy. Crazy shit is happening and can happen at any location you are at. Please stay on 10 toes. Please be aware of your surroundings. Please, y'all. Like, I... I don't stress this enough. I tell you guys I don't drink and shit because drink and smoke because I like to be aware of my surroundings. But please, if y'all go to any, especially if y'all go to any festival, any club, please make sure you're not drinking or smoking too much to where you're fucking faded and you can't react to your surroundings because shit like this happens at a lot of concerts. In EDM raves, it's SEC and pills getting laced. You feel me? And shit like that. Please be aware of your surroundings, y'all. Like, I want to I wanna preach that. Just be aware of your surroundings, wherever you go. Especially in environments like this, when there's a lot of people crowded together. Especially in environments like that, it's a lot of folks together. At one time, you can't really see anything. It's dark. Please be aware, be aware of your surroundings. Please always look over your shoulder. Please, please, bro. Because I want y'all to be safe, man. I don't want y'all to end up in a situation like this, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's my PSA message, though at this memorial. One of the most shocking details we learned today is that Houston police are investigating an incident where a security officer may have been stuck in the neck with a syringe. We do have a report of a security officer that he was reaching over to restrain or grab a citizen and he felt a prick in his neck. When he was examined, he went unconscious. They administered Narcan. He was revived and the medical staff did notice prick that was similar to a prick that you would get if somebody's trying to inject. After all this breaks out, Travis Scott then sends out an official apology saying this. I send out prayers to the ones that was lost last night. We're actually working right now to identify the families so we can help assist them through this tough time. My fans really mean the world to me and I always just really want to leave them with a positive experience. And anytime I can make out, you know, anything that's going on, you know, I, you know, I stop the show and help them get the help they need, you know? Um, I could just never imagine the severity of the situation. Uh, we've been working closely with everyone to just try to get to the bottom of this, the city of Houston, HPD, fire department, help us figure this out. If you have any information, you know, please just contact your local authorities. Everybody continue to just keep your prayers. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly just devastated. And I could never imagine anything like this just happening. I'm gonna do everything I can to keep you guys updated. <sighs> Love you all. The majority- Man, that pussy has excuse that nigga just gave, man. Motherfuckers told him niggas was dying and passing out in the motherfucking crowd, and he did not give a fuck. I'm not trying to hear that lame ass excuse, bro. That shit is pissing me off even more, bro. That little pussy ass excuse he just gave. That that little fake ass. Like that. Like I tell y'all, these motherfuckers, these so these celebrities, be put fake personalities on on the internet. You see what this this motherfucker trying to. Um, I, I love my fans. Motherfucker, when they were telling you he was, they was dying, you wouldn't give a fuck. You told them, you know what you're here for, you heard the rage. You feel me? You were, you were singing when these motherfuckers was getting carried out, getting crowd surfed out because it was so crowded. You ain't stop shit. And he was the, and y'all, he was one of, he was, if anybody could stop it, he could have stopped it. If Travis Scott had been like, hey yo, hey yo, everybody, everybody evacuate. They would have moved the fuck out because that's what they're here to see. That's the most influential person, quote unquote, in the world, <laughs> in that in the younger age group, and the, that was the most important person they were coming there to see. He didn't do shit to stop it, but he want to go on Instagram after the fact and say, "All of my fans, I would never imagine severity." When people were walking up on the stage telling Travis Scott that people were dying and passing out, and his reaction with them was, "You were here to rage. You know what time it is." Man, uh, man, this motherfucker don't get a pass for this shit, bro, at all. You get no pass, Travis Scott.
You feel me? I just want to let that message out, bro. We're going to start giving motherfuckers a pass on bullshit. When, when, we, when we can see through bullshit, we can smell this bullshit, bro. You feel me, bro? Like, that shit just pissed me off with that lame-ass excuse, bro. You might, you might as well not say shit. And I know he refunded all the people at Astro Roll, which is, which is good. At least he did some shit. But that's not enough for this shit, bro. This motherfucker need to, for all these, all the people that lost their life, bro, all the people that are injured, he need to compensate them with something, bro. You feel me? But no, this shit crazy, bro. Like, 2021 is fucking crazy, man. Yeah, people did not take this apology that well, and people started demanding justice. Some people say that Travis Scott is to blame for all the lives lost, and that he should serve jail time. Others are saying that it's security's fault. Many people are even making claims that Travis Scott sacrificed his fans to the demons. It gets absolutely crazy, and no one knows what's going to happen next. Many people speculate that Travis Scott's career will be ruined over this, and others said that he could go to jail. As I'm making this video, Travis Scott actually just got sued for quote unquote predictable and preventable. It's actually going to be insane to see how this plays out, but I truly wish the best for everyone involved. This is just such a sad and bad situation, man. I wish it never happened. Everyone who bought a ticket was just trying to have fun after COVID, and now people's lives are lost. I can't even imagine. My heart goes out to everyone impacted. Once again, every single dime made from this video will go to the families impacted. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the situation. Do you think Travis Scott is at fault? Do you think it's the security? Do you think it's the venue? What do you think should happen to Travis Scott? Do you think he should go to jail? Do you think he should be fined? What do you think should happen? Let me know in the comments. I hope this video informed people of what was going on. Subscribe to this channel for more documentary content. And without further ado, I'm out. Alright, uh, I'm gonna leave this uh, video in the description for you guys to check it out without my commentary over it. But, in my opinion, I think, I'm at, okay, so, as much as Travis Scott is a major part of this fault, because he organizes the concert, so basically it is his fault, but it's not just Travis Scott individually's fault. It's, it's like he said, it's security fault, promoting fault, basically staff fault. It's everybody that was in charge of organizing the event fault, you feel me? So I might just don't put on Chopper Scott, but he is a major part of it because he was one of the people that could have single-handedly stopped this shit, and he didn't. And then he put up a bullshit-ass apology acting like he gave a fuck. That's just that's pissing me off. I saw what happened to Travis Scott. First of all, Travis Scott's career won't be ruined because I, it's 2021, bro. Niggas are forgetful. He'll get canceled for like a, a month, two months. And he be back, you feel me? See what happened to Tory Lane, see what happened to the baby. Them motherfuckers is back, you feel me? Like nothing happened. So that's not gonna happen to him. But that lawsuit, I hope that lawsuit hit him hard, you feel me? I hope they get mo the most bread they can out of him. And two, what should happen to Travis Scott? Travis Scott should, should face these consequences, no cap. You feel me? He should face these consequences, bro. In any way possible. As far as being criminal charges, that's least likely to happen. But I hope every motherfucker that was there sues Travis Scott, bro, and get bread out of him. He should pay for this, bro. That's my that's my opinion. He should pay for all the PTSD and trauma he caused people, all the injuries and deaths he caused people, all the lives he took, all the family suffering. Like, this shit is crazy to me, bro. And this is 2021 in a nutshell. This year has been crazy, bro. We had Corona first. I let this shit down with Corona. All this crazy shit going down. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, it's just, it, it just gets like fishy intent, bro, because the shit that was going down, how it was, how it was going down, how he didn't stop when people asked him to stop, how he told them you were here to rage. And then after all of that happened, him singing over dead bodies, which is the creepiest part about it, which makes me think he had an ulterior motive. And after all of this shit happened, after all this video evidence of him not giving a fuck, he goes on Instagram and gives a fake ass apology, a pussy ass apology, and says, oh, I love my fans, I would never want this to happen. When they told him to stop the show and people were dying, and he didn't give a fuck, bro. Like, we need to stop putting these celebrities on a pedestal. I don't do that anyway because I know these motherfuckers in person probably is some, you feel me, is dickheads like this. But overall, we need to stop putting celebrities on a pedestal, you feel me? 
just because of how many fans they get. Because we need to, we need to understand that it's the difference between social media personality and real life personality of people. You feel me? So that's my take on it. Uh, I want you guys to put your opinions down below. Uh, question one, I want I want to ask you is who 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 t who should hold the most blame for this? Number two. I want to ask you is what should happen to the what should happen in this situation like what consequences should um Travis Scott and the whole organization face and number three just give me your overall take on on the situation and like what you think went down and why it went down you feel me so yeah this is crazy but with that being said man I hope y'all enjoyed me giving my commentary over this fucked up situation and like I said, RP to the people who lost their lives and all of that, you feel me? I wish this never happened, but it did. So, with that being said, I hope y'all appreciate me talking over this, giving y'all my insight and my commentary and what I think happened. And with that being said, peace out. Have a good night.